Hello everyone, I'm Conquering History Games, and welcome back to part 6 of my Asterion campaign here in Hearts of Iron 4 Equestria War. Now, uh, we are trying to get some men over here to the border. They've taken Ambrosius's Manor, but uh, we're going to get men over here to the border. We've got some infrastructure issues still uh, that we're trying to deal with as best we can. What is this? Questions, the motives? Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, we have these divisions ready to go, which is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and crank them out. Create a new division of men. Let's actually get these marines over here. Um, I think the marines will do just fine on this border. Not really too much to worry about. Nice, okay. Um, we also want, oh, logistics wizard for sure. That should help things quite a bit. Uh, we also have reintegrated some Creeper Mountains, and finally we can take Asterion Reunited. After much time and effort, the nation is once again whole. Recognition of this will not pass without the bang of celebration. With the, oh, i got a bang of celebration for you. Uh, but with the soft whimper of citizens sleeping soundly in their bed. They're finally back home, and nothing will ever change that. Gives me a bunch of boosts, which are nice. Um, Let's take the war bonds, help with the uh, construction. Yeah, 18 factories, not too bad. Okay, we are going to... What do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? We're gonna... Advance to anti-air. That's pretty good. Okay, it looks like kind of everyone's here. I think we have no option but to push forward. Uh-oh, maybe not. Uh, we're kind of getting in there. Yeah, we'll just push forward, occupy new lands, and surely that will get rid of our logistical problems. Perish the thought of anything otherwise happening. Plenty of artillery is going to be needed, and keep the steel flowing. Of so we're going to work with Stalingrad. I could have sworn the Changelings had more possible protectorates. I thought they could get a couple here. Oh well. Uh, now this war is going to start in January, January 14th. Okay. Uh, where's that construction thing? Ooh, minus 12%. It's just for 50 days. Here we go. Island development. That's the one I want. Even though we're not developing an island, we are developing this. But uh, we're coming through quite well. And yeah, I am going to stop this campaign after this. There's other things that I want to work on. Um, other games. Uh, you know, we, we've, got, we've got the China update, which... Um, Let's just say it's going to happen a lot sooner than people think. Uh, we got that coming up. We've got, um, you know, Red Flood is going to hopefully be out. Uh, actually, I think they've been public with a date. The idea is going to be that it's going to be out by the end of the month. And once that happens, I'm really going to be having my hands full. Go to the coast. Look, come on now. <sighs> nice overrun. Very good. The Pegasus. Some Pegasuses are making a stand east of Buckinghoof. They're dead now. And of course I want to get some Total War going on. Um, actually, in between recording episodes, I posted uh, something on, on my community tab, seeing what people would think of the idea of me doing parallel campaigns where I play a country in Crusader Kings 2 and also its equivalent in um, Medieval 2 Total War. So, uh, to use an example of nations I've already played before, it's like, you guys, if you haven't seen my Spain campaign in Crusader Kings 2, or in, um, wait a minute, wait a minute, or in uh, Medieval 2 Total War, I highly recommend them both. They're both excellent and among some of my favorite things that I've done on the channel. But, like, the idea would be that, um, whereas with those campaigns, I did those months apart, uh, to, the idea would be to do them, um, simultaneously, so, like, I would start, okay, Okay, like, I think, if I remember correctly, Medieval 2 starts in 1080. Like, I would go into Crusader Kings 2, and, uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. This map got messy in a hurry. We're gonna have to redraw it in a second, but, uh, actually, yeah, they've already filled in. But the idea would be, so, like, I would maybe play Spain in 1080 in Medieval 2, because that's when it starts, and so then I would also go to 1080 in, um... Uh, Crusader Kings 2 and pick Castile or something and then uh, play those at the same time and see how it see how that works could be could be fun I think so they got six divisions I think these guys will do just fine 
on their own. Do a little bit of force attack. Griffenheim capitulated, huh? Wow, Skyfall is getting friggin' enormous. Hmm. Foreign Legion. Correct our history. Uh, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this pure unity thing. That was a nice that could have been a nice buff, but I've kinda had an excess of political power for most of this game. No need for anything else. Let's get more civilian factories. Keep constructing stuff. Uh, now, I haven't decided what two nations I'll do. Like, like I've been debating doing Denmark. Or, yeah, like, so, again, like, the example would be I'd do Denmark in Crusader Kings 2, starting in 1080, and also do it in Medieval 2. Um, there's been a couple I've been thinking, of, thinking about doing Denmark. I've been thinking about doing um, the Byzantine Empire, which I'm sure everybody would love to see uh... I'm gonna come over here see and the thing with Denmark is I think I already did a Crusader Kings 2 Denmark campaign a while ago but on the other hand while I had initial successes eventually um, I just wasn't administrating very well and uh... my country collapsed uh... so maybe I could redeem myself with that um, if I did the Turks boy that would be a long one um, Turkish campaigns uh, in CK2 and Medieval 2 are both uh, very long, unless you're going for the uh, exploiting speedrun stuff. Because uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, if you want to set the in, in Medieval 2, if you want to like set land speed records, you gotta play Muslims because they have access to the jihad, and uh, they also have the best bodyguard ge general bodyguards. So uh, you can beat medieval, you can conquer the entire world in medieval two in fifteen turns uh, by playing as the uh, as the Turks, um, and that's not even max speed. It, it could be done faster, uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't exploit things that way. Hmm. Yep. There we go. There's just so much. I just love medieval two. I probably wouldn't play like port. It's not going to be Portugal though, or anything, because I've already got a Spain campaign up. So I'm not going to play Portugal right away, because um, yeah, I've already done that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it'd be it's like it, a Portugal game uh, after you unite the Iberian Peninsula. It's basically the same as a Spain game. Yes, you get some different units, um, but a lot of the units they have France also has. So it's like, well, why don't I just play France? Okay, uh, okay, we're gonna do this. Oh, wow, we're, getting, we're running out of artillery again. Okay, so we could... I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take these guys, put them right here on the coastline, really tight, and have them start heading toward Nimbusia. Into the Greek areas. Maybe I could do, like, I don't know, I really don't know. Maybe pick a, pick a Greek state or something to break one off in CK2. Hmm. We are gonna need to... What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? What are we gonna do? I never did any Navy or Air Force stuff. <laughs> Get down to a pure unity. All right, how's the supply? All right, I think what we might need to do is, uh, instead of focusing so much on the Republic of Nimbusia, we might need to concentrate our forces here against the River Republic. Mm, yeah, yeah that, that might be a better usage of my time. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. Get you guys concentrated right here. Nice, some more overruns. Lake City's pushing pretty hard. I think Lake City must have gotten nerfed somewhere in one of the patches along the way. I remember when it first came out, they would swarm all over the place. 
These days, not so much. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Oh, we got to Nimbusi, but we got cut off. <laughs> the Selenaki. Come on, get there, get there. Alright. Okay, is everybody more or less in position? Nice, look at all that green infrastructure. They've been working hard. Go! Yes! 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 Look at this soft attack, yes! Not bad for infantry. I do want to get a really tank heavy game going though. Who would I play? Like an all tank army, like I did in my Austrian Empire campaign in Kaiserreich many, many moons ago. Griffinstone has fallen. Wing Barty. Hm. There goes Nimbusia. And we got the encirclement. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hmm. Giving us a little bit of trouble here. Nice overruns. More encirclements. Yep, they got no naval bases here. What a massacre. Their losses are approaching 2 million. Oh, okay, that must be it. Or... No, what? How does the River Republic not... Right, because the River Republic gets a buff somewhere, I think. They're... So basically you have to take every single tile they own. Where is it? Or am I imagining things to get to something else? What nation is it? They get a buff? You have So you have to take every single tile? Oh, I'm thinking of the Spains in the Kaiserreich three-way Spanish Civil War. Unchecked democracy is a problem, according to that focus. Very good. Um, how fast could we declare on these guys? 40 days? Okay. We'll go ahead and do that, um, just so we can wrap up getting the bottom of this coast. Just because I think I could do it this episode. What is the problem here? Why... Why is it not... Hmm. Okay, let's, let's try to wrap this up quickly. Okay, now you all come over here to Wingbardy. Let's surround this northern section best we can. So the way I'll probably divide this is I'll give this to the Federation and then I'll take the south, uh, all this area. Which I know will then put me in contact with Aquilean Republic, but there, there's no need to drag this out. I got other things I got to do. I got progress reports I got to work on. I got I really have got to work on those. I got a guide um, I have to do for Diamond Mountain. And um, I've got some new Patreons. Remember, uh, if you donate $5 or more a month, you get to select a guide for me to do, but please remember you have to message me through Patreon. Um, don't just you know sign up and then expect me to magically read your mind and know what guide you want me to do. You actually have to send me a message saying, do whatever name you know, like say do a Lake City uh, guide. You have to actually message me that. Okay, so we can declare war anytime now. Um, are these guys on their way? Or no, not these guys. These guys. Uh, we've got quite an excess of divisions here. Let's see if we can not crank these out quickly. I'm fine with them being green. They'll be 40 width. They'll get experience pretty damn fast. Uh, we've got 200 factories. They've got pretty close. And they've got their allies. But with my allies as well, I think we're going to be just fine. Wow, they went up to all adult serve. Uh, that's a little strange. Hmm. Correct our history, change the vision to show the people as a whole, not a government throwing off yoke. Okay. There you go, they're going after Sinister. Sinister's about to get bodied, I think. Yeah. Like all the cops and robbers out there, he doesn't stand a chance. And there you have it. I'm just going to go ahead and take all of it.
You know what? Um, actually, we'll go ahead and give Lake City. You get Vittenland and all those crystals. The rest is mine, though. There we go. Very nice. So, you guys can come back. Get right here. Get ready for the big boom. Okay, they've got a little bit over a month to get into position before my war goal expires. Uh, how are these guys doing? They are at 15%. That's fine. We gotta just get to 20 quickly. Keep dumping it all into artillery because I'm losing so much of that. Hmm. We could improve the workers' conditions again. Why not? And do war bonds. Did the cost of this go up? Wasn't it 75 before? And what the hell, let's do some war propaganda for no reason. Uh-huh. Communal industries, yeah. Get those, get them red bars up. Come on, come on, quickly, quickly, quickly now, quickly. Uh, let's think about infrastructure. We need... Oh boy, we need it bad. We have a five somewhere. Yeah, right, right here. Work on that, or not five, but okay. Where's that construction speed? Twenty percent. We want that. Okay. Oh shoot, we're just about to. Yep, that's it. Okay. Check it out. Oh my gosh, this was my bad. I screwed up. Iron Will, welcome to the front. Wait, where is he? Oh, I already have him here. Oh, I don't need you garrisoning. There we go. <sighs> Gotta do it. Oh. Hmm. Superior enemy, 53%. That's something. Shut these gaps. Oh, uh, it's not happening. Am I the only one at war with them? Nobody, nobody's helping. Yep, the Federation will not lend us aid. Why not? Uh, negative because Federation has dangerous borders against our enemies. That's so stupid. Whatever. Oh, look at this. We're just, we're just annihilating them, sweeping right through their tanks, sweeping right through their Griffonianites. They've got medium tanks, actually. Are we piercing those as well? Oh, I think we're not. There's some medium tanks right here. No, we're piercing them. Hmm. Oh, X pact of non-aggression with New Maryland. Oh, yes, of course. They're communists as well. Uh, I want to see what these foreign legion troops look like. Okay, supply looks fine. Um, Uh-oh, we got a little bit of trouble down here. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, they can't. It'll be fine because they can't get to the friggin' um... They can't get to the ports, so it doesn't matter if they landed um, away from them. But in the meantime, let's try to get some more territorial divisions out. Just something so I could grab these pockets that are forming. Yeah, I think these guys are going to get over here to Kiroso. Okay, what up? Last stand again? Alright, I think if we hold on again for just a bit longer. Uh, we'll be okay. That is... Hang in there. Just gotta keep looping. Nope, they took it. Alright, so they've got a port now. How annoying. You know, it's not gonna matter because I'm about to be marching through their capital. Superior enemy. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Well, I have green troops. It's a bitch. That minus 25%. Really adds up on you. 
Uh, so we've lost about 100,000 to the Kingdom of Wingbardi, but they're approaching having lost a million. So, no big deal. Yeah, they've lost almost a million, of which about half a million of that is me. So it's about a 4 to 1 ratio at the moment, which is only about to start getting worse. Yeah, because they're on scraping the barrel, but they have no pony power. Uh, I'm killing them way faster than they could be replaced. But there's nobody to hold the guns. And we're about to get an artillery boost. Okay, now, um... Wait, no. Okay, check this out. Cover this, uh, but have, like, six of you come over here. There. Just keep them a little bit bottled. Did he get cores on this? No, didn't think so. Just was making sure. Uh... What is this? Oh, the Griffonian Republic pulled out of a daring invasion on the eastern side of the continent. Would you look at that? Fill that in, fill it in. Okay, good stuff. We're slowing down a little bit, but we've got equipment. We're alright. We are alright. I know I've been playing this super sloppy, it's it's okay. Okay, so here's the Taurus Bovine in Bullhorn. Oh, they're seven twos. Cool. I can't believe this guy hasn't become a skilled staffer yet. 66% of the way there. Also, almost about to become a hillfighter, so that's neat. What is this? Oh, right, I didn't assign them anywhere. Just put them there or something. But that's cool because you could just get the. Te oh, you can't train any. It's a special unit template. Um. Oh, radio. Tell me everything you know. Alright, let's press him in the north now. Nice. Give me that expeditionary force, man. Spread them out where they're needed. Hmm. I believe they're hanging on as well as they are. Oh, they actually are recruiting pretty fast that they could have a slight excess. But it's just about over. We're about to get into their heavy factory areas. These guys went non-aligned or something? Hmm. But they looked they, they, they turned red. Restate nua thiamia. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Protests arrive over parliamentary restoration. They can go after Black Hollow and stuff. Interesting. Another naval invasion happening over here in Minotauria. Doesn't look like a, anything to worry about just yet. Come on, really? You guys are surrounding an empty pocket. Let's go. There goes Carthen. And with it goes any reason for me to slow down. I'm just gonna keep pushing, because we want it. Dad, they still have 145 divisions, potentially. Really? Oh, I hate when these stupid gaps form in the line, man. Come on, come on. Gotta also remember, I'm, I'm still fighting this guy all on my own. <sighs> Ooh, 
quit being a little bitch and get in this war. Are you in the war? Carl, when well, you were not the leader. Well, that's right. These guys are technically the faction leader. So they're sending me an expeditionary force, but they won't actually join the war. And now the Republic's giving me shit. How long until Wingbardi goes down? Pretty, pretty soon. Um. Yeah. Hmm. I push these guys into, into the sea so we can then move on to other things. You know, stop this nonsense. Wingbardi still only 60% of the way toward capitulation. Oh, yeah, they're technically liberating parts of. Whatever. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up so we can get, a, get these guys surrounded. This is what happens when you play five speed non-stop. Ooh, non-stop. Alright, we're just gonna bring these guys down. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Collective construction. See, now I'm fighting the Republic up here. Division's still planning and whatnot. Come on, just press. Nice, we got the shock and awe. There's that artillery boost, and holy shit, I did not realize how much stuff I was not researching. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, we want that. 29 days from that. Bonus there, bonus there. Bonus here. No, well, not bonus, but... Mechanical divisions. Uh, let's go get toward that extra defense. Right, the barony is not affiliated with anyone. Am I going to have to take out Griffinstone before these guys will help? Fucking assholes. This weird state of Skyfall, too. It's not allied with anyone. Come on, bring Wing Barty down, bring them down, bring them down, bring them down, bring them down. Da, 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 da. What I'm probably gonna do is, uh, well, Wing Barty's gonna capitulate, but I was about to say maybe I need to prioritize taking out this section up here. Uh, so that they're no longer scared by the spooky borders. Fucking assholes. Not helping me. Boom. Boom. Come, come through here. Thank you, thank you. And one of you come through there and there and there. You have it. Okay, the pocket is being compressed slowly but surely. Uh, and there we have it. That's it. Griffins, you know what? Fuck you. You didn't do a damn thing to help. You don't get anything now. And it would probably be better to puppet this so that I could create forces out of their units, but it's fine. We bled for it. Okay, and then that's it. I'm going to call it a day there. Uh, that's it for the campaign. You know, all I have to do is close up this pocket, which I'm already in the process of doing. 
We're going to defeat the Aquilean Republic uh, pretty easily, I think. They've got, oh wow, 102 divisions. Especially if I microed it. I guess uh, you guys probably could tell I was getting a little impatient with this this campaign. Like It was fun. It was nice doing something different with the Minotaurs. Uh, and I'll tell you, this definitely was refreshing after some frustrations I was having with trying to record some Kaiserite campaigns. Basically just hours of footage from two different campaigns just in the trash, totally useless. Um, so I wanted to do something kind of quick. Whenever I do return for Equestria at War though, I think we'll do something bigger, aim a little higher. Like, like as you can see, this turned into a world war, but maybe do something where uh, I, I set out with the intent of doing the world war. Maybe, maybe Skynavia, uh, maybe Lake City. One of these days I'm gonna do Skyfall. Maybe, uh, I don't know, but, but basically play something big. Do, do something where uh, I maybe I try to absorb both continents or something. We'll, we'll see. Uh, wow, the changelings have no manpower. How weird. For war. Hmm. Oh, it's because they're still just on service by requirement. They've got a lot of divisions, too. But still, that's a little strange. Uh, anyway, so thanks for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games. Please be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you're always notified when every new uh, series or video goes up on the channel. A lot of fun stuff. Uh, you know, the school year has started, so I'm busy, but it also makes me more organized. It's like I'm juggling school and work and other stuff, so I'm going to be a lot more focused with this because I know that any time I'm working on it has to be done well. Um, anyway, y'all have yourself a great day, and I will see you around. Goodbye.